Is this how the game is? This, this better not be how the game goddamn ends. This cannot be how the game ends. Greetings, you people, along my king. I was going to how has it been this brass I do indeed. Welcome you back to some more Nantucket. Yes, indeed, we are back with Ed Wound, Captain Head Wound, the cannibal with a, you know, two thirds cannibal crew. Somebody doesn't know what they're in for, I dare say. But anyway, we have um, done very well for ourselves. If you will recall, we have um, that much money. We have 7,208, and we were going to save up to buy ourselves a gigantic ship. Maybe the Josephine, or the schooner, and such. But I do believe that we, well, we don't have enough money. Well, actually, we do. Holy shit, hold on. That's, that's for that one. No, no, I want this one. This is the one I want. I, I want this one. I want the Falcon. The Falcon being a little bit more expensive. So I'm saving up my money till I can do that. But currently, we have to get back to the other side of the world. We do. We absolutely do. We have to go ahead and sail away. We're in Honolulu. Currently, we have to make our way back to Nantucket proper. Because we have upgrades over there. We have to go get those upgrades. Um, I have to remember, because I don't remember. It's been a few weeks since I played. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, so we do have the blue whales that we were whaling a lot of, but they're going to be out of commission here in just a couple days. It is March 17th, and it is going, they're going to be gone March 19th, so the chances of me getting there in time to do one more whale hunt are probably not very good, but we're going to... Yes, it's three days, but can we get good wins? Let's try it! And... and can we get in there? Please, 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 let me in, let me... Aw, oh, it's done. Sail away. That's done, that's done, all the things are done. Yeah, we have nothing else to do but to leave. Now, what do we have in terms of food? We have plenty of food to get ourselves back to Nantucket. Technically, plenty of water, plenty of grog, plenty of wood. Possibly. I mean, the thing is, all I have to really do is get back to Imatuba. And if I get back to Imatuba, I can, I can take stock of how things are there. And then continue on. Continue on back to Nantucket. Now, if I was to look at my upgrades, I have two upgrades, in fact. I have one in Peterhead as well. Upgrade ready there. And there's one in Nantucket. So let's just let's just go. I mean, what what could possibly go wrong? We've we've done very well for ourselves. We have taken a game that should have been over a long time ago and continued to have it bear fruit. Not literal fruit, though, because that would be that would be weird. I mean, just don't think about it too much. It's fine. So anyway, this is, um, what is this? Perilous Waters. Now, I do understand the Perilous Waters over here, like the Bermuda Triangle. What is this called? Anybody who's very smart knows a lot about uh, geography and such. Why is this a dangerous place right here? Inform me, please. And I'm going to go ahead and speed this up because, yeah, there's nothing really left to do but to sail. Times three, what's going on? Maybe I should pause. I heard a ding-ding. I don't know why I heard, I heard a ding-ding for a reason. Don't want to know what it was, though. One of your crew members tells you that some of the water barrel, barrels smell funny. Checking them, you notice some sediment floating in the water. Now, I can throw some away. I did buy extra water this time. Let your scientists check the barrels to be sure. 55% chance of just losing one barrel of water as opposed to the five. So better than a one in two chance. All right, your scientist manages to separate the contaminated water from the uncontaminated water. We have done okay with that event. We are just fine. Speaking of water, having a bit of it. Mm -hmm. Can we go faster? How do you make a... Can we put like an onboard motor, maybe? Um, while updating your log, one of your men knocks at your door with a troubled face. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Captain. I need to ask you something important. My son fell ill, and I took a loan from the shady man to cure him. Now they want their money back, and they're threatening to harm my family if I do not pay them soon. Would you help me? We would do our best to help you. Yes, let's give it a shot then. Has a quest to complete. They say they're beams and bows. Thank you, Captain. I will leave you to your work. Now, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> so, um, where is that going to be, though? Oh, it's back that way. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll get back to that. Technically, I mean, what if we eat him before we get... It's fine. It's... We have plenty of food right now. What's his name? What's the sailor's name again? Ha... A hell. Ha a hell. I'm saying that probably very poorly, but yes, that particular crew member of mine has a quest over there. I'm gonna try to make sure that we don't eat him until at least after. After we solve his quest. 
The captain just leveled up. All right, let's uh, let's go to that. Let's finish this up. And we have the ability to um, go for more crafting. So you know what? Let's let's just do it. I don't know why. I don't know why not. In fact, so we have the ability now. Who goes there? What's this? The plot thickens. This is something that's in my way. I didn't see this until I saw this in front of this, and I was trying to look at this, but this is now in the way. So I'm gonna have to deal with this before I can deal with this. You follow? Okay. Okay. Your man stands at the door, holding his hat in his hands. Captain, I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information for you about the Rachel. Was that the ship that saved you after the Pequod got sunk? It is. What happened to it? Just hearing the name spoken aloud makes your heart knock, your heart knock hard in your chest. The th plot thickens. It happened during our last trip on dry land. We were <clears throat> at the end, and we ended up drinking with other sailors. He stops for a second, trying to remember the words he probably rehearsed before knocking at your door. Well, the Rachel is missing, Captain. She left Nantucket and set sail to Honolulu. I was just there to deliver some goods, but she has never gotten there. We thought you might want to know. Thank you, and return to your quarters now. What do we got for overall morale? Not, not that great. Um, I can give them all plus ten morale. Would that get you out of the slump? They won't get you out of your slump. And I have plenty of money to kick around. You know what? Yeah, let's. Let, thank you for the the, the information. Here, I have some money as well. Alright. Um I can unlock something else. Can I not? Zero points left to spend. I got one points left to spend. I can't unlock the oil master until of course I have until what? Why can't I not do Oh it costs two points, I see. Hmm, I wonder if I can just save up my points, or does it really matter? No. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss them all in because Captain Headwound is going to be the longest living captain of all time. Because he's eat pe he eats people. You know, it's good for you. Snacking on some flesh. Wherever you can get it. Um, The rebalance, do I want to do that? No, I still want the extra... No, what? No, I'm not hunting right now, so maybe I should go for something like this. Rebalance. The character's crafting combat die. Gains rebalance while fighting in the whaleboat. Reroll the dice of characters on the whaleboat so I can reroll everybody's dice. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna do that right now. Until we go hunting again, and then we'll go back for the cleaver. I dare say is the proper way to do things. And yes, continue on to Imatuba. While walking on your ship's deck, you notice one of your men pushing and verbally abusing a shipmate over what looks like a trivial matter, claiming that, because he is Hawaiian, he deserves respect from everyone from inferior countries. Uh, don't I already have that trait? Do I have that trait? The Xenophilus trait? Sociable. I do. Um. Max can lose some morale. You can probably stand to lose some morale anyway. Yes, you can. Hmm. I don't think the Xenophilus trait would stack. I, I won't be able to get more morale from everybody, can I? We do not tolerate this kind of behavior on our ship. Pass me the whip. Ooh, okay, so... We now lose the xenophobic trait. Oh, I see. 25% chance for it to be removed from him. Captain Edwound, what would you do? Hmm. Hmm. I think it's just fine to keep it the way it was. I'm gonna also see if it stacks. Does it stack at all? It does not stack at all. All right, enter the harbor. Um, I'm okay on most of my materials, but we're gonna enter the harbor anyway. Grab some grog at the very least, I think, just to make sure we don't want want to run out of grog. Like, it's delicious. Also, it helps wash down the man flesh. Um, so we're gonna buy one more of those, 152 days, make sure that that's good to go. I don't care about the food right now, I can just eat people. We'll grab some more water. Let's go for that. I'm not hunting, so I don't care about how much cargo space I currently have filled. Speaking of which, I wonder if there's a... No, there's, there's not. There is no quests for me to take here. Um, grab one more wood. Call it okay, and we're gonna sail away, I guess. No reason not to. Because this kid doesn't have anything, does he? No. It's all grayed out. 
We have some news, but we don't have any jobs. Sail away, sail away, sail away. And I feel like I'm going to go to Peterhead first. If I sail across the Atlantic to Peterhead and then to Nantucket, after all this sailing is done, maybe by the time I get back to Honolulu to uh, do the quest for my shipmate, I might even have the ability to go whale hunting again. Wouldn't that be proper timing? Continue on. Any pirates to deal with? Doesn't seem like it. We should be okay. Um, technology news. Hold on, do I have an... I have an upgrade ready there, too. Oh, that was the ding-ding earlier. The ding-ding was telling me that I had another upgrade and another port. Sailing right on through that, no problem. Let's expand what we got going on here. Hold on, you're not supposed to be sh steering the ship. You're supposed to be steering the ship. You're better at it. Okay. Currently okay. Losing a little bit more food, a little bit more water. We got plenty of both. And uh, in the days after your latest harbor visit, you notice one of your crew members starts to look tired and sickly. Is everything okay? He could have syphilis, he could have malaria, or he could just be tired. Alright, he slept with a sick prostitute and got infected. Wow. Alright. Into the harbor. We get our tech upgrade. What is it that we even did? I don't even remember. Standard shelving. More cargo space. That's what we have. Lay has increased. Kanoa's lay has increased. It's okay. He, he, he's earned his keep, man. He's done most of the damn killing I have ever seen in this game thus far. In terms of killing whales. And getting the blubber. Making money, basically. Your crew injuries and sicknesses have been, uh, have been healed. So, excellent. So, wait. Hold on. You can just go into a harbor and get rid of syphilis? Is that how that works? Okay. I, that seems kind of weird to me. Jose de San Martin declares independence of Peru from Spain and Lima. Interesting. Jobs. What do we get? Discover a new whaling area. Well, okay. Sure. Close that. And uh, we'll go sail away. Oh, wait, hold on. We need some food. I don't want to have to eat my people. I only want to eat my people when I'm bored, or at the very least, when we're all going to starve to death. So, let's grab a little bit more grog, I think, 160 days worth, and then the wood, I'm going to go 151 days, and we're going to be okay with that. 27 of the 70, I don't expect to have a whole bunch of whale blubber to, to, to bring in. Now, here's something to consider. The, the fact that... We have more upgrades that we can do. And in fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and not researchable. Oh, because I have one already being researched. And the saline is already being researched. Um, I could up my overall shelving again. 12% of cargo space. You know what? Let's research it. Let's get it going and we're going to sail away. And on the way to Nantucket, perhaps maybe we can find that whaling area. Could be a thing. Only one way to find out, and that's to do it. So here we are in Peterhead, and, um... Okay, so I do not see the whaling activity here, so it's got to be over here in the Pacific. There's the blue whale, that's ready to go again. When does this start? This starts on December 21st, so I have, I have half a year left. Um... To get back over there. Narwhal, narwhal. Do I care about the narwhals? I don't really. There's not... It's more... Mm, when's it going to be? September? Or maybe I should care about it. But I do not see the whaling area mission that I picked up. It's supposed to tell me... Somewhere... Around here, and I do not see it. I wonder why I do not see it. The quest is not available unless it's behind one of these other portraits. And I guess that is possible. Am I just being daft? It's possible. Um, your ship hits a rock while sailing in perilous area. The hull is leaking and the hold is taking on water quickly. So fix the gap and prioritize saving the food. 45% uh, um, all barrels are saved. 
or from one to ten barrels of random types except food. Prioritize saving the food. I think that's probably the best idea. Or just focus on fixing the gas so I can lose. All barrels are saved. At 70%, I, that's a good chance of doing that, right? The gap has been fixed and we have managed to save all the barrels stored in the hold. Goodness was meant out this day. Still doing some ship repairs, lost a little bit of water, lost a little bit of food. There she blows! Your yells as he spawns a fin in the distance. It could be a precious whale. Um, lower the whale boats. I mean, I suppose I could. I suppose it's not a bad idea since I'm here. Sure. Creature encounter. Deployment. Could possibly go wrong. Last used. Kanoa Max and Head Wound. This is. Oh, I didn't actually change my dice, though, before I... You know what? This is fine. And being these types of waters, I feel like it's either a humpback whale or a narwhal. A narwhal. If it is a narwhal, I feel like I need to bring in my... My scientist, my medic. I'm just thinking. And we're going to withdraw you, yeah. And we're going to put the scientist in here. Right? I feel like this might be an okay thing. Continue. What could possibly go on? It's fine. Humpback whale. Okay. So, <clears throat> that's a giant whale. Massive, in fact. Damage plus 50% in feeding areas. This is not a feeding area, is it? it? Maybe? It's a mating area. This is where they go to mate, right? The little cooler waters helps them to, well, cool off. Um. Right. Curiously. The only person doing anything is Kanoa. That's almost a bloodied whale. Ooh, what the hell, then? That is a massive amount of damage. Um, roll it up. And 12 again. Now, oh, the problem is, if he hits head wound again, this is, this is getting dangerous. Don't hit head wound again, please. Mother of God, if he hits dead wo head wound again, the game is going to be over. Are we serious right now? Like, head wound is stunned. I can't retreat. Because head wound would just get hit again. Is this how the game is? This this better not be how the game goddamn ends. This cannot be how the game ends. Okay. We're okay. Huh. The agitated waters. We barely survived that. Barely survived. Because if Headwound dies, this is this is permadeath. Headwound dies, the game is just over. I can't believe we come that close to death. Um Screw this particular whale air er whaling area. I'm leaving. Headwound, you're healing, right? Continue healing, buddy. Oh, you're back up to full health anyway, you're fine. That was that was too much. While walking on your ship's deck, you notice one of your men pushing and verbally abusing a shipmate again? Can we just... Okay. We're gonna... I'm tired of it. We're gonna try. We have a 25% chance to just whip it out of him. I don't think he learned anything from this. Whatever. Oh no, the storm's massive swell causes your ship to roll so fiercely that your lookout falls out of the crow's nest and lands on the deck with a sickening crunch. One of his legs looks badly damaged with the broken bone sticking out through the skin. Uh, let him rest another... Ah, uh, and this is the piss ant, right? This is the one that's. As long as it's not Kanoa, Kanoa does all the extra hard work around here. Um. Huh. I think that's my scientist, is it not? Hmm. Let's see. 50% chance your man is fine. Here it is. <clears throat> Can the scientist mend his own leg? He will be fine. But it'll be safer to use another lookout from now on. He's okay. It's fine. We're, we're, we're set to go then. We're a little bit late though. We're a little bit behind in terms of getting back to Nantucket. Mm. Into the harbor? Absolutely. What did I get here? Standard harpoons. Ah, yes. So we have better iron. Hmm. Better for killing. So, we're back here. 
cancel this. Um, is there any better? How, how much prestige do I have? I have 10 prestige left unused. That means I can probably get somebody like Roland, for instance. Hmm. What do you have going on here? You have a sick bay. Okay. This upgrade allows you to install the improve the ship bay, the ship sick bay compartment. Of course, forecast so you get more health coming back. So I do not like the xenophobic trait. I really do not like the xenophobic trait. So if I was to go for somebody like Roland, what happens with Roland? Okay, you get better experience. Fine. Um, unlock the option to get water in safe docks. And then all sea creatures card threatening the character's well boat are played face up. So we know what was going to happen every time it was to happen. Before it would happen, I should say. 13% late. So he takes a lot of money, though. Harrison, what do you got going on for yourself? You're a tipper. Um, bandages. What is he? Sickly and dull. As much as I hate it, I think I'm just going to keep this guy. I'm going to keep him. I'm going to keep him for now. He might come in handy later, but right now, he's kind of crap. Um, so Missouri is the 24th state of the United States of America. Gerbs, what do we get? Ooh, get reward. Oh. I never turned that in. That's nifty. Unveil the Alice's destiny. Well, then I'll take that for sure. There's a ship missing. Um, do I want to buy any extra stuff? No, I'm going to sell some of this extra food, that's for sure. And I'm going to buy a ex little extra water. Oh, wait, no, I could probably just pop out of here and go do some whaling, couldn't I? Try to test my luck again against the humpbacks. And if that is the case, I need to bring down, keep as much space in my hold as possible. So let's go like 19 of 70, 20 of 70, that's 50 cargo space. That is fine. Okay, that's fine. And we're going to sail away. And we're going to hope that we don't get head wound killed. In fact, one of the ways to not get head wound killed is just don't put him in the boat. How's that for an idea? I could do that. I could just not put head wound in a boat. Um, let's go back and hunt these humpbacks. Now, this particular quest is a Kahikili quest. And it's red to me, so I'm going to wait until it gets, like, green or something. I don't know if it... If anybody knows better than me, does red mean anything around that portrait? Does that mean that it's going to be a hard quest to do? After days struggling with no wind to fill your cells, you become the dark clouds overtaking the sky. You welcome, I should say. At the first lightning strike, you order your men to bend every sail. Spread all sails. Rain starts falling, and a cool breeze gently opens your sails. Wind strength changed. Just pushes on us pushes on, pushes us on out of there, I should say. If I could say. Um, sail away. We need to get right here. And hunt the whales. September 21st being the, um, we just got here. We just barely got here in time. I have to get back to those blue whales, man. Those blue whales just outside the harbor in, uh, in Honolulu. Um, lower the whale boats and let's get it started. How much more money can I make? Please don't make this entirely difficult. Max. And you know what? A sign. We got Kanoa. A sign. Everybody. Except for head wound. We're not assigning head wound. Bugger it. I'm not doing it. Um, and continue. Ah, see, humpback whale. It's a big one. Damage 50%. I wonder if that's what's making him do 8 damage. Or, would he be doing something like 12 damage if he was in a feeding area? Don't really know. Um, I can heal somebody, which is useless. He's gonna get a free attack. Or, okay, so we have a man overboard. Good thing he can swim, to some degree. Okay, here's some damage. Except, no, we... Balls. Continue. We don't have... Alright, you drug him under. And you're being mean to him underneath the waves. Um, there's a good strike then. Yes. That's almost bloodied. Alright, I need to heal you now. I guess. Notice he's doing five damage now instead of eight. Hmm. Another 14. 
Whatever, let's do it. He's almost dead. There's eight damage! What the hell? Why was it five and now is it eight? Oh, Jesus! Okay, he's just underneath the... Okay, we can kill him. Oh, no, we can't kill him. Oh, my... Oh, shit, he's dead. The only thing I can do is protect him. Can I protect him? Nope, he's dead. That's okay. I didn't like him anyway. He sucked. <laughs> he was a terrible individual. There's that strike. Kick him. Kanoa, you were a little bit late on the kill. Whatever. There's that blubber. And, um, being the fact that I have to, have to, have to now put head wound into a boat, I, um, don't think I'm gonna hang around here. I think what we're gonna do is uh, head back to either Nantucket or Peterhead. 55 days. No upgrade in progress. Did I not start another upgrade? Wow, okay, so we're going back to Peterhead. As you complete the ceremony for burying one of your men at sea, you realize there is no point in keeping your promise to help him with a favor that he asked of you. May he rest in peace. So here's the thing. He borrowed money to save one of his family members. And now these people are going to come back and hurt his family. And now he's dead and he can't do anything about that. This is dramatic. With abundance of food in the hold and a small crew, your men believe the food supply inexhaustible and begin to take huge portions. Can you not? Um, we have nobody in the lookout right now either. So I'm going to be looking for another scientist. Another medic, if we could. Extra money just came in, uh, 328. And who do we have in port again? Roland Harrison. These individuals, Jesse. Maybe I should just grab Jesse. Although Jesse is... I mean, he'll be pretty... He won't put up much of a fight, you know? If I was to use him for food. It's all trait. Hmm. Harrison. Ford. Or do I just get another... Another really, really tough individual? Hold on, this guy has cannon skill? That's my upgrade. That's gonna be my upgrade. Hiring this individual here. Um, okay. We don't have a medic right now, but that is fine. All I want is to start this upgrade here. For cannons. Research. Researchable. Yes, research it. Oh, I see. I had to do the, fr the preliminary and now I'm actually doing it. So researching ends the 28th of December. We're making cannons, people. We're making cannons. Oh, this is... This is brilliant. Gerbs. Discover a new whaling area. I will take a look. And, um... Are we good to travel? We're not. We will be... Hmm. Let's go there. There's fine. A little bit more grog. A bit more wood. Sail away. Think so. We're researching cannons because we have somebody with a cannoneer skill. We know that it is a thing that we can do now. So here's my idea. My plan. My plan right now is to sail across to the other side of the world again to get back across the Pacific and hopefully get back to hunting the blue whales just in time. Could happen. Might not happen. But it could happen. Ready in 44 days. And I, don't, I can't actually see this one right now, but we're going to go to Imatuba. That's where we're going to head, and that's going to be how the next, uh, the, the next video starts. I hope you enjoyed this one. Head wound is still alive, albeit barely. Thank gods that we had a little bit more of um, uh, luck on our side, because that was that was that was too close, way too close. And we're researching cannons, so we still have tons of money. Hopefully, we can buy a giant ship and keep upgrading it. And this might be our longest, longest ongoing Nantucket series. Who's? We might, we, might, we might find it out. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm rambling, so I'm gonna stop now. Thank you. If there is anything about this video that you did indeed enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this, and I'll see you again later. And if you're feeling super generous, please check out the Patreon site, where you can support me if you have the means, and know that I will be eternally grateful. Have a good day, have a good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Briar Stone, signing out.